Running live video now. Got it. Hey guys, it's 12 o'clock straight up on Thursday, and just like we're doing every single Thursday from here on out until we can keep grabbing up people to join us in for these workouts and stuff. I just literally got finished with a 20 minute conditioning session all to make sure that you can get your workout in right now with it all. So today we've got David, and we have Casey join us for the first time. She was technically the last person picked on the team. So she's joined us today, but out of default. Um, <laughs> to get in here for it all. So we're going back into it. If you want to flip around here, we're keeping the warm-ups the same. Technically, every, if those of you keep coming back week after week after week, knee hug, shoulder touches, reverse lunge, inchworm. We're going to do six rounds of that right here. So we'll go ahead and just kind of get into the knee hugs in place. As always, if we've been sitting for long periods of time, if you're at your desk, if you're at the office right now, or if you're at home, this is kind of good just to kind of start loosening up the hammies, start loosening up the hips, start loosening up the lower back. After we get a couple more rounds here on this one, we're going to go down into a push-up position here. So a simple shoulder touch here on these is alternating there side to side. They're pretending as if we've got this glass of water resting on the back right here. And if it tilts too much there, obviously we're going to spill the water. But we're just going to simply go for 12 touches there, and then we're going to stand ourselves right on back up. As we've gone up, we're going to go into the reverse lunge. Just simple stepping back here for you. If you see David trying to be an overachiever, you can reach up there if you want to. You can kind of start to add the hands into it, something just a little bit. But if you're super tight in the lat, walk around like this. Okay, walk around with your knuckles facing forward. You may not want to reach too much over your head because you've got a lot of tightness going on. It might start to feel a little uncomfortable. After they get through with these here, we're going to move into the last little phase of the warm-up. And if you can see here, we're literally flying through this. These two are going to be over to they got a lot of bonus work at the very end. So inchworms, simply walking out to a push-up position right here. Casey's doing the locomotion one here for as far as moving forward. David's doing the... Hey, I don't have a lot of space. i got to stay in one spot. So Casey can keep me in the overachiever because she was a late add to the team. She wasn't in the green room with the rest of us. We were discussing what we are going to be doing out here in the workout for that. You're good right there, Casey. You stayed right on my face. So that's it. If you need a little bit more of a warm-up right there, you can obviously keep warming up as we explain to you here what we're going to be doing. So we're keeping with this phase here of working the 30 seconds with a 15-second recovery. We've got group A, we have group B. Group A, we've got four moves. Reverse lunge, what we pretty much were doing with dumbbell press. So we've got 10, 15, 20, 25s for you ambitious people. Lateral bear crawl, what we did last week. Some little hops side to side, we call our skaters. And then this last leg here is our straight leg sit up here for you on this one. So they're gonna first grab the dumbbells because look how ready they are. They were prepared and ready for this here. Gonna go with a reverse lunge with a press. So as we start here on these, it's up at the shoulders is the start position. We're simply gonna be stepping back and we're gonna be pressing David smart because he's not gonna do any extra reps than what he has to here on this one. So we've set our timer. You can see the official timer here on this one. Three, two, one, go. We're getting it rolling here for you on this one. Oh, see again, Casey beat an over TV with you all here for you on this one. So you've got two ways to do this. Obviously, these two go straight out the gate and go to the hardest version of this possible. And as you can see, they're alternating here back and forth. A little bit easier, a little bit less kind of strain on the, on the lower back is to press when you get to the top here for this. Is the big, he shows one here. So he steps here, presses, and then steps back, comes together here, boom, presses right up there. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Set them on down. We're just going to go into the lateral bear and crawl here. So short moves in case you've got between these two lines right here. Dave, you got between those two lines right here. And we're simply going to go keep the knees about an inch or two off the ground. And she's overachieving. She's just overachieving the whole time. Ready? Here we go. You got it on. Now she's getting frustrated with this all here. So, <laughs> so it's slow control, just that line there. Casey, number one, right on back. Even trainers get a little fussy with each other here. There's too much together time right now. Those of you who don't know, we are launching our second space. Casey has been part of the madness in the back office and the administration and getting it all done because. We're transporting her over to River Oaks. If you're here in the West U, you won't see her face anymore unless you go over to River Oaks. I see her over there. You got three seconds. Two, one. Good. Relax right there. Go ahead and see you in a while. And we're simply going to be still facing each other here for you on this one. We're going to work back and forth little skaters. So we can pop here slowly, or you can be super ambitious and work it over from one side to the other. So start with what you're comfortable with here. You ready? And go. So it's just a little hop. If we're having trouble with balance. Just a small little hop, stick, hold your balance, then hop it back and forth. For the overachievers here, you can kind of start to pick up the tempo some just a little bit. This is a precursor to what's going to be coming in just a little bit, so don't get too ambitious here with things. 12 seconds left. Just slow side to side here. Again, this isn't about crushing ourselves. This is about sustaining. It's about making sure we have energy for tomorrow. Three, two, one. Good. We're just going to lay down your backside here for the straight leg sit-ups. 
So we can start this first round without the weights if you want to here. So hands straight up there towards the ceiling here for this one. So David's going to show us here on this. So as we sit all the way to the fall here, boom, as he sits on up here, reaching up as tall as you can possibly be here. Three, two, one, here we go. Right back into it. So the goal is to get as tall as we can as if we get to the top here. Can reach your hands, fingertips up there towards the ceiling. Boom. Shoulders reach up as if somebody's kind of grabbed the back end of your shirt and pulled you up there towards the ceiling. About 15 seconds left. Got the last eight seconds here for you. Boom. You got some questions are flowing through here. Hi, Laura. Yes, there will be. Lots of spirit fingers that are going on with us. We got your last right here on this one. So we're looking to get into this. We're going to actually start to go right back through things all over again. The reverse lunge with the press. We have five seconds here for you. Three, two, one. Let's go. So as we step back again, you can press at the bottom to be an overachiever like Casey. Or you can take it easy like David on the far end out there. Oh, look. I mean, he doesn't want to be called out at all here on this one. It's live to the millions and millions of people there. Laura, I know that you're sharing this with all of your friends and family. And all the people at Urban Pass are following along, sharing it along with them as well. There with you, Spirit. All right, last five seconds here, and then we're going to go back into those final bear crawls again. And relax. Here, perfect. Good. Set it right on that. Turn and relax. I'm going to sign in here for you on these. Get 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slow control, make it over to the line. A little bit of a pause. For those of you who want to be an overachiever on this one, if this is becoming too easy for you in this kind of close crouch position here, you can start to extend the legs back behind you so you're literally almost in a full on push up position. Watch, David's going to show you when he gets over here to the far side. So we can just extend the legs out some just a little bit, but the key is on this one is if you start to see your hips pike up, pike them up there, Dave. If you start to crawl here like so, it's ugly. We need to stop, start to drop it back down there, bend the knees. Good, relax right there. Standing right on back up again. We're gonna go into those skaters, a little hops there side to side. Five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. These little hops there side to side. You wanna think about there's a little mini hurdle here just in front of you maybe that you're trying to jump over. So each time you're thinking, oh, there's something in the middle, I'm trying to get over the top of it. Or when you keep it low, tip, there's just a piece of paper that you're simply trying to get over from there from side to side. 15 seconds here, hopping in there side to side. After we get done with these, we're gonna drop back. But David, keep on going here, you got five seconds left. David added a little bit of the river dance going on over here on this one. And good, relax right here. We're going to drop down to the back side. This time around, we're going to grab the weights. We're going to hold the dumbbells to the side. Okay, so you can go in and fun here on this one. You've got to show everybody it's possible. All right? You've got to show even the late ads to the team it's possible here with this one there. All right, hold the dumbbells up there towards the ceiling. Three, two, one. Here we go. Sit it straight on up there. Boom. Reach it back. As you walk tall. See so if they can get the biceps in line with the ears. Then also the other drive with this one too as well is you're thinking, can you keep your toes onto the ground here? This so as we start to come up, flash legs, you don't want to see this action here where the feet are both coming up right here. It's just saying, hey, you know what, we kind of got a little too much weight. We can't connect the upper body and lower body together. There's a disconnect somewhere in the middle there for you on this one. All right, good. Last right there. Standing right on up. As we like to say, superior athletes do three. All right, so we're going to be popping back through this again here just one more time. So we're going to go back into the reverse lines with the press. If you want to be the overachiever, again, you can press it at the bottom, or you can press it back up at the very top here. Three, two, one, here we go. Set them back. Woo! Set the bar high for ourselves here. We're only 10 minutes into the session. Good. Relax right here. Simple, easy. After we get done with this round, we get a nice cold sip of water. Doing a lot of talking, so make sure that the voice is staying strong here for us. Five seconds left, and we're going to drop back down to the floor again. Wow, that good. Good, relax right there. Go back into that line, little bear crawl here for you. Eight seconds. Three, two, long, 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 long drag right there. Go. You got it. Same thing, side to side here. So if you notice what we're doing, we've been standing up, and then we're getting down to the ground. We stood up, and then we come back down to the ground again here and everything. So that little bit of level change, this one's going to kind of keep the heart rate going for us here. 
outside of doing full body stuff like we just did the lunge and the press, obviously the bear crawl here is calling everything into effect. We're about to get back up here again and go side to side. We're gonna go back into the skaters all over again, which is another full body kind of move there. Five seconds left. Uh -oh. Three, two, one. Good, you got right there. Stand right up. Two more things here. 60 seconds of work, and then we get a nice little breather here for you. Such a nice guy. Skaters there side to side. We've got five seconds left. You can pretend there's a small little hurdle in the middle. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exploding off the big toe as we push. We're starting to feel it a little too much there. You're starting to feel yourself slow down. Go ahead and take some pauses. When you land over there, challenge your balance for a little bit. Hit the pause button and then explode it right on back. If you're still feeling good, you got your 100%, start to push the pace. Just remember, we still got about another 16, 17 minutes left here. 10 seconds. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. You got it right there, boom. Laying back down to the ground in here, flashing here, just straight like this. You're gonna take a nice little 60 second breather. It's such a long time. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, here you go. Drive it straight on up, and then slow on the way coming right on back down. The idea is to think about if it, the, the back, the vertebrae as they lay down like a string of pearls. Look at that, this is a bring up good images for you there, David. String of pearls as we lower it down there one by one by one. Still low. Laura, you're still watching, I love it. Hopefully you're doing this workout at home, you're double timing it right now. Five seconds, then you take a nice long 60 second breather. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Perfect. Go ahead and stay right up there. If you need to get a drink of water there, we're good to go. So as we move through things here, listen, we're going to move back into the second round here. So we're going into group B here. Let me stop the watch there. You got it here in this one. So we're going to move into a lateral lunge with a curl. So simply just stepping to the side. Obviously, we'll have the two dumbbells here. Just giving it the curls here. We're going to go back into those bear curls that we were doing over here on this far side. But instead of going side to side, we're simply going to go forward and backwards. Then we're going to slow things down a little bit here. We've got the side planks on the right side and then the side planks on the left side. And each one of these, again, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. And then on these, holding for 30 seconds. And then resting the 15, flipping it over on the far side there. And then doing the same thing on the flip side. But we're going to give you, again, kind of variations of how to do this. Simple, how we can progress progress ourselves up and then obviously how we can challenge it and make it the hardest that we can possibly imagine here with all this stuff. So as we step in here in this one, no weight, so let's just give us an example here of this one. We're going to go a lateral lunge. We'll show you. Still got a little bit of breathing time here for it. Don't worry. So he's simply going to step to the side. He has two dumbbells and he's going to curl. But as opposed to stowing just on the one side, you're going to alternate here back and forth here from side to side, side to side here. Look at all. There you go. Like this one. You got it. Perfect. Look at that. I mean, this is just the perfect demonstration for it all here. So you're going to stay back in the case you're simply going to step forward. So got it. This is an imaginary curls here for us. So we got the lateral lunge with the curl, then we have forward and backwards with the bear crawl again, just between these two lines that we're going here. Side plank, side plank here for us. All we need is move pad. All we need is move pad. All right, here we go. Ready? 16 minutes left in the session. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Step over to the side. It's like the ultimate jazzercise video, isn't it? <laughs> Perfect unison. Next week, David will probably be in some leotards or something. Leg warmers. <laughs> Cold enough. It's cold enough. Oh, please, we don't want to see that one. 15 seconds left here for us. The synchronicity of these two here on this, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good here. Last five seconds. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. You got seven around there. Love that hold up there, David. Three. So, Casey, you can come forward and backwards right here. David, you can come sneak in there too. So, I'll go forward and backwards here on the dog. We got eight seconds. The bear crawl is the same thing here for you. So keep the knees nice and bent, about two inches off the ground here. All right, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Just slow and control, just up to the line. Then we're going to head back in reverse. And you can see propping right up underneath things here, boys. We want a nice long straight line. Shoulder is right on top of the elbows. 
Stephen David down there, he's got the Cadillac underneath his arm. Casey doing the, the hardcore way here. If you don't have the pad, it's home. But if you do, if you're at the house, grab a towel, throw it up underneath your arm, or just kind of grip your teeth and then man it up here on the, this side. Of your last eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just keep your feet around a little bit. Still facing up there towards the front. Yeah, good. Yeah, so being nice for the women all here for this. So Davis now going to show you the hardcore style here on this one. Again, just keeping it pretty simple here for ourselves. Three, two, one. Let's go right here. So keep doing Come down here and watch this one. So some of the times you can see this right here. Take your hand and put it down on this thing. What you'll see is a lot of times is you'll see people rotating over here like so. And it's just meaning that this is just too difficult of a position for us to be in here. So many of these are decent ground that come up straight. So prop it up here. So it's another way is we want to make sure everything is in a nice, strong, light, straight line here for you all on this one. Not hunched over, not trying to put the hand down on. Because then all you're simply just relying on is like your joints just to cram together and hold you up there. Five seconds left. Oh, look, he wanted to make sure he showed you the main way. Like, three, two, one, good. You got it right there. Perfect. So we're seeing it right up again. Starting back into the lateral lunge. We didn't see it, but he just took off the whole time on that back side. Right there. He's on his knees. He yeah. just made it easy for himself. Yeah. There, there you go. Three, two, one. Here we go. She was, oh. trying, to, she was trying to catch us off guard. Maybe we didn't think about the time. What the hell? So you can go for speed, like they're going for right now, or David's about to show you, you can get a little bit deeper here on this one. You're going to take that trolling foot and kind of kick there. You look, see as he rolls that trolling foot over, and up, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's like tag team singing the songs, there. Whoop, there it is again. So he's, he's rolling that foot. What happens is he takes all the weight onto the outside again there, all the weight on the outside again. If the feet stay flat, you can kind of help with both legs. You relax right there. You go back into that bear crawl. Don't worry, I'm going to throw another way hard out here for you too as well, Casey, because you're like, don't forget me. Don't forget me. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. You got it. So a lot of times people ask why bear crawls, why getting out on the ground again. It's one of the most fundamental movements that we do. You started doing it as a kid. First, you started on your knees. Then you started to learn how to kind of take the knees off the ground. And if you ever watch an infant try to learn from, from the rolling over to the crawling to kind of almost this bear crawling, to the standing up, the rocking type of motions that we do during each phase of, of kind of growth. This is just getting you back down to the fundamentals of things. And plus, it's just hard. It uses the whole entire body. You can't cheat on this. Three, two, one. Good. Relax it right there. Casey gets the same with the, with the blue mat. David, you're still hardcore style down there for you. This time around, we're going to let Casey kind of hold it still. David's going to show you different variations of it all here. The first way David's going to show you is how you can simply drop the hips up and down, up and down, up and down. Three, two, one. One, go, right there. So David's showing you, boom, all the way down, all the way up. And in case he's still kind of holding things here a little bit. But if you can see, on David here, this, this shoulder and elbow are pretty much staying in a long line here. This, and sometimes what happens is people start to drift just a little bit because they're trying to push so hard with the elbow. The elbow starts to drift away, and then all of a sudden you start to get all this pain in the shoulder here. Ten seconds left. And David's overachieving on this one here. He's just kind of cranked through it there as fast as he possibly could. Three, two, one. One, boom, you got it right there. Kick it all the way over there to the far side. I'm to let David show you. Oh, look at that. She's so nice. She's so nice. Here. There we go. Look at it. Everybody's got it now on this one. Ooh, it's the grit. It's the determination that she's showing with it all. Here we go. Let's go. Same thing again there. Yeah, Laura's hanging on to the very end here for us on this one. Again, as you can kind of look to make sure just the shoulder and the elbow are kind of in alignment there. If not, you're going to start to see kind of where the pain starts to happen. 15 seconds. Get down with these. We're going to stand right back up there. We've got one more round to go. That's going to leave us with plenty of time for the bonus stuff at the very end here. Five seconds left. Maybe start to crumble. Three, two, one. Got it right there. Good. See you later. We're going to go back into those lateral lunges here. Same thing, just that lateral lunge and then curl. So come down here, Keith, we're going to show you how to kick it up one more notch. Dave is going to show you the very last way to kick it up. So the very last way you can do it is turn your toe, literally, I'll hit the pause button here on this one, give you a little bit. So you can turn your toe literally up as you turn here on this one. It's turn that toe all the way up. This allows him to sink down, so I'm just a little bit lower here for you on this one. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's rock and roll. I'll even modify it there. Just keep it down. Yeah, oh, look at that. So now you're sinking deep into it there for you. Oh, look, Casey doesn't want to be outdone either. And she's showing it to you. I can play this game too as well. Just turn that toe up. All we're doing is just taking all the weight onto that outside leg. Only five seconds left here. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Perfect. Good. Set them all down. Bear crawls again here for you.
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here you go. You got it. Crawling all the way forward. All the way to the back. Twenty seconds left here. That slow, slow, slow crawl. Last ten seconds here for you. Last ten seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Boom. We're moving into the side planks again. We're going to allow them to show you the last two kind of progressions that we have here. So David will show you a little bit of the rotation where he's going to reach the top hand underneath him just a little bit in case he can use foot feet apart. Yeah. Look at that. And the confidence with it all here. All you're trying to do is just hold the feet apart here. All right. You ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. So Casey's just going to hold the feet apart here. David obviously is just going to go with the big rotation up underneath here, thinking that he's trying to reach the wall back behind him. And then Casey obviously just looking like a star, a sideways star. Can you see the ripples on it there, the shirt kind of like fluttering there? It's not the fans going too fast. That's her actually kind of shaking just a little bit there. Eight seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Just kind of right there. Boom. Just kick the pads over here. So kind of you two can come head to head here on this one so you can still kind of see it. Just going to go around to the far side and get kind of the little reflection with it all. Eight seconds left. And then David's going to show you this time around here with the feet apart, and the case is going to show you with the rotation here for you on this one. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Boom. So you're going to show big rotation underneath. It's nice and slow. Look at David. Hand up there, David. There, all the way up there to the sky. Oh, look at that. Casey rose the bar. Rose the bar. <laughs> Raised the bar just a little bit for him. Look, you're going to get David's face down here. This is going to be awesome. Perfect face. Here to 15 seconds left. The millions around the world there, David. The millions around the world are tuning in to watch it here for this Last eight seconds here for us there. Just keep it up there nice and tall. If it starts to get too much of a struggle, bring your feet back together to simply hold the up position. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Perfect. Good stuff. So we're going so to take, what's that? I said my butt's outside. I'm going to start on the butt's So simply going to give them just a little bit of a breather here. Get the pads clean, the runway off here for it in this one. So as we showed you here, we go into the first step. That's what we call kind of our warm-up. And then we move into the strength, the stuff that's the evergreen, the things that we should do a lot here on this one. And then the bonus stuff down here at the very bottom, we're looking at this saying, hey, you, you finish up the strength work, you finish up the warm-up, you got maybe 20 minutes into the session, or you got maybe five, six, seven, eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes left into it. Do a little fun summit bonus here. This isn't get on the bike and pedal mindlessly for the last couple minutes to do your cardio, or isn't going to do the treadmill. At hey, this time point, yeah, hey, let's push the pace some just a little bit. And what we're going to do here is it's the same thing we did last week. If you tuned in or you followed along there with it last week, we're going to literally use a line that if you can be at home, it's two kind of big steps, lateral steps apart. So it's one, two. We, you can see it probably vaguely here in, in the floor with everything, but they're simply going to go with just a little shuffle here for it all. And it's just over, it's down to touch it as we go back and forth. If it's too much here for you, if your knees are bad there, the back is bad, simply just shuffle over, get to the line, and then shuffle it back here for you. So don't get into the habit of bending over here for you and at the waist when we're going up and down. Just make sure that we drop the hips down as we bounce it there back and forth. So I did a little extra talking here to so make sure that we go off in this last six minutes of lots of fun. So we got six minutes left and we'll probably get two rounds of this because we're going to work for a minute, rest for two, work for a minute, rest for two here for you. All done. All right, ready? Stepping it right on up. Three, two, one. Let's roll. You got it. Back and forth. Ten seconds only. Boom. You got it. Oh, David overachieved it back there. He didn't want to be outdone by me again. He's going to feel good this week. Three, two, one. Boom. Get the brakes right there. You got five seconds only. Don't go too far. Three, two, one. Go. Boom. You got it right there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Person in the front row is not paying attention. It's trouble. Three, two, one. Good. Relax right there. You got two more to go. Two more to go. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Boom. There it is. Now she's getting into it. Go. Five seconds left. She's reached the weariness. Three, two, one. Boom. Hit the pause button. There you got five seconds. You got one more to go. One more to go. And go. Ten seconds there. Ten seconds. Look at David, he's feeling good this week. David is feeling good after last week's performance here. Three, two, one. Boom, perfect, you got it right there. Two minute breather. So while they're kind of like popping all around here for you on this one, we're gonna go back into explaining this. I'm just a little bit more here for you on this one. We only have 
Yeah, look at that, Laura. You're, you're the only one. You're the only great one here for you on this one. As we get into this here, so the simplest way for you to think about this, if you get bored of doing this one, one, obviously we've got lots of more, you know, kind of like videos here on this one. We look at this and say, hey, it's A, B, C here on this one, but right now we're just working through A and B. We could add another one here. If you didn't want to do any bonus work at the very end, you can do an A, a B, and a C. They can be in groups of three, or they can be in groups of four, like what we're doing right here on this one. As simple as you can see is we just have a lot of total body stuff. So again, you don't have to be rocket science to figure this stuff out here in this one. I'm moving my legs and moving my arms. I'm moving my legs and moving my arms. I'm moving my legs and moving my arms. And the same thing down here. Moving. And that's literally how we put all this stuff together. So for you, again, if you're at home and you like the creative side, you don't like following the rules, so to say, you don't like to be told what to do, you simply put your own together. Here, this week. kind of play with it a little bit. One week, try it out, maybe try it out two or three times to see, give it an honest chance. But if it feels good, obviously, if it leaves you kind of feeling like this, literally only after about probably 18 seconds of real work, I mean, 18 minutes of real work, then you know you're onto something. But again, they're not exhausted, they're not dying, they're not at the point of exhaustion where they're feeling like they're about to throw up. They're just, hey, they feel like they've got some work in. And that's all we're trying to do with you here is to challenge you, but then give you enough recovery so then later on in your day or later on in the, in the week, you're still feeling good enough to do this again. So, speaking of doing this again, go ahead and Standing right up there. Look at David. He's struggling here on this one. You want to switch spots? You want David to come to the front of the room? Star student come to the front. And David, he's got the gold stars here for you on this one. So still got about 20 seconds left here for you on this one. But it's just, again, it's just that side shuffle over, side shuffle back here. You got it right there. Perfect. You got it. It's like dance step. It's like Baron's dance groups. You're going to eventually get it here for you. All right. We're going to get it going here. This is it. This is grand. No, we'll have time to do one more here for us. You won't get to see the recovery part of it. Three, two, one, go. Got it. 10 seconds, it's over. Oh, oh look at this. All of a sudden now, it comes crystal clear. Three, two, one, good. Five second breather. Three, two, one, go. Let's just try to sabotage David's workout. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, good, last. Ready. And go. Two more. This one and one more. This one and one more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, relax. You got one more. One more. You get two minute breather. All right, ready. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Casey. Come on, Casey. Come on, Casey. Five seconds. Three, two, one. One, you got it right there, perfect, good. Two minute little breather. Two minute little breather. For those of you kind of keeping in here to the very end, you look at this and you say, hey, you know what? This isn't about we work so hard, we can keep going, we can continue to keep walking fast, and you know, there's, there's not really a shift and change of pace. This is literally, they've worked so hard. Again, it's 10 seconds. We've worked less than a minute. So of that minute, we only worked 40 seconds of that. So we had a lot of time of breathing time within one minute. Then you had a two minute breather. But you can see here on this one, is that we're working smarter, not necessarily harder in the sense that we're manipulating the body through kind of certain time intervals. So you've got zero to 10 seconds, you've got 30 to 90 seconds, and then you have two minutes plus. And right now we're playing with that zero to 10 seconds worth of work which technically we should have a lot more kind of the recovery. But, David, we won't even look at us. It. It's like a child that's mad at you right now. It's like they're not looking at you. You, you punish them as a, as a parent. <laughs> they ignore you. They pretend that they don't hear you the whole time here on this one. So you got 60 seconds left. we got one more. For those of you tuning in at home, look at this. We've got, we got right at probably about two minutes left officially off of the avenue time, which is set up at the world time. We officially set it every single morning. Because that guy follows it around and they make sure that we stay to a T. All right, you got 45 seconds. One more, so we're gonna go through it and literally finish. When we get done with this one minute of work, we're literally done. You don't have to watch them recovery and sit around. You don't need to listen to me talk anymore either. Here we go, all right, go ahead and step it on up. We'll see if David's pace is the same as it was in the first round here for him. Or is Casey the sleeper? She's gonna come from behind and then just take him at the very end here for you almost. This is the triple crown. This is the triple crown right now here for you. Can't she win them all? All right, ready? This is it. Three, two, one, go. Look at that. He's off. He is not playing around. He knows Jonathan's going to see this one day in about 15 years. Three, two, one. Good. Last right here. Five seconds only. Get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, good, 
Last it five seconds. This is where the burn starts to build up just a little bit. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Peter, you can't say go, David. David, you need to cheer Casey on there. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Good last right there. Don't worry, Peter, you get to do these next time that you're coming into the session. Here we go, this is it. Last one. Three, two, one, go. Move. Nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. You got it right there. Boom, they're done. Walking a little funny. <laughs> but they feel good. They feel good. They're not exhausted. They're not completely dead. Yeah, they're going to fill up for a couple minutes, but then they're going to go. They're, they're going to recover here for this one. So if you need some more workouts at home, if you want to share this with a buddy, challenge a buddy at the office, if you got some of your girlfriends that you need, hey, you know what? You need to find a workout in here. This is it. Completely free. It's always going to be free. We'll post these for you. So you can do this at home. Do it at the office. Do it on vacation. You know what? Do it in supplements to your workout with another trainer and stuff right there. If you just need something to do in the carpool line, you can jump up. Do this at any little playground for it all. But check us out. <laughs> Maybe we can get somebody in the carpool line. You never know. Somebody might do it there for us. But check it out. We got River Oaks opening next Tuesday, the 16th, which is January 16th, 2018, which can matches up with our birthday here for 12 years at West U location. So we figured 12 years later, why not have another kid? And we're going to jump right back into it. So tune in this week, every week, Thursdays from here on out at 12 p.m. Share this video up. Challenge your friends. Tag them down below. See you.